Oh, the club is a massive failure at the moment. Like it's it's, it's terrible. It's an awful place to be. Um, you know, you don't want to be really talking about, I suppose, too much uh, coming up to the greatest day in the GA calendar, but they need to start it out quick because if they don't, like I was talking to a young lad in Tullerone the other day under 17, like Kilkenny went on an amazing run during the minor final next Sunday. So they've had 10 games, I think, in minor. Usually you might have three or four if you get to a final. Yeah. So they've had no under 17 games since, I think, was it the 1st of May or the last week in April? So you have an under-17, and remember now, they can't play junior or intermediate or senior anymore. They can only play a grade or two uh, above their levels. So we have an under-17s that haven't played this summer. I thought it was just the adult guys, and the adult guys is worse again. Like We played a match last April and um, have done basically nothing since. You're kind of trying to stay fit, and you don't want to be peaking back in May, you know, this yeah, kind yeah, of a thing. Yeah. Um, so even if you knew, right lads, go back training in May, you're starting championship in August, play your pre-season competitions in, say, June and July, yeah. off you go. But this, I would say, like, if we don't sort it out, and I say we, as in me, the clubs, the county boards, and the GA, if we don't sort it out, we will not have hurling in 10 years' time. It'll be, it'll be just elite. There'll be nothing going on. So, um, because in Kilkenny, I don't know what way it is around the rest of the country, so, so, summer soccer is coming. Right. Mm. So, like, I thought we had no soccer players in Tullerhorn. I think we have a few yeah. that play in town. So, suddenly, say, you're used to train two or three days a week, maybe a match, say, twice a week, maybe a match the weekend. Suddenly, you have guys playing so soccer on Saturdays. And then I hear that the only place Saturdays because it was the winter and it was dark during, so they might be even playing soccer in the evenings in the summer. Yeah. So, what way do you do it now? So, I think, you know, you talk about complacency. We need to sort ourselves out, or because where do the like you look at Limerick, the golden run there on now with the, these young lads? Where did they come from? The Piercing playing in Club All Irons, Kilmallock playing in Club All Irons. You look at Joe Canning, greatest, you know, one of the greatest hurlers of his era, couldn't win in All Ireland for the, until till last year. Where was he getting his success? With Port Humna, yeah, you know, three or four Club All Irons. So I think, you know, and the GA as well is a massive, um, it's a massive cultural community thing at the moment. Like we no longer have everyone going to mass on the morning and talking for an hour or two. We no longer have people calling to each other's houses or meeting on the streets. Yeah. Now, you know, with your iPhones and your iPads, most people are nearly inside in their houses at night, bar the, the GA. You're down at your matches, the phones are gone, you're chatting, you're playing. So yeah, I think it's, 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 we're in big trouble with the clubs if we don't sort it out. But there's rumours going around talking to different lads that there's massive meetings going on at club level and county boards and the GA themselves, I think, are meeting up with guys to sort out the clubs. So when I hear that, I'm delighted. OK, so you, that's interesting that there are at least conversations happening about it and people are listening to the, the problems that the club players have. Hopefully. Yeah. All right.